Hey there, Aries. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up, guys? So this is your reading for August 2020. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is a reading dated for the month of August 2020, that doesn't mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, that is the message for you in that moment. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. All right, Aries, let's talk about your pre-shuffle here, which seems to be very, very good. All right, you, the first card out for your pre-shuffle was the Ace of Cups. And then um, and then you also have the Knight of Cups here on, an, on another pile. And as I was holding up this Ace of Cups, I heard new love is coming in, okay? But that's because of your efforts. You have this Ace of Cups with Temperance, the Magician, and the Six of Swords. Some of you have physically moved, and that's why you're in a completely different place physically. And that's why maybe you met somebody new or something like that, and okay, and so you've got love coming through that way. For others of you, you made a decision or you moved mentally away from something that basically cleared the space for you to have this Ace of Cups come in. You have the Tower with the Ten of Wands and the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords is that energy that I feel like is rushing, would rush out, rush after this Ten of Wands energy to cut all that away, effectively creating a tower moment for yourself or maybe the people around you. Um, and, and it's all because you've learned. You learned through the contrast. What I'm getting with this Seven of Pentacles here, Aries, is that enough is enough. I'm done with this. I don't want this anymore. Regardless, I don't care what happens to me. I know that I don't want to be a part of this situation any longer. And thus, some sort of burden was released. There was a tower moment. There was a massive change in the landscape or a massive change in, in, in your life. And that cleared away space for some love to come in here for you, Knight of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Wheel of Fortune. Underneath the Wheel of Fortune is the Nine of Cups. Ooh, underneath the Nine of Cups is the Fool. Um, but uh, to me, the Wheel of Fortune is, their spirit is saying a change in destiny. And you, I personally believe that you are absolutely 100%, 100% able to control your destiny. You are in control of your destiny. There, something is only destined to you because you have been taking the action steps towards it. You have been speaking the words. You have believing the beliefs. You have been taking these steps. You've been doing the things to create this destiny for yourself. De your destiny is directly related to the actions you speak and to, to the words you speak and the actions you take. Right? <clears throat> and we'll say it this way. If you're trying to reach, if you want X, Y, and Z to be your destiny, but you're acting in ways to bring A, B, and C towards you, then you are destined to receive A, B, and C. You are destined to fail at achieving X, Y, and Z. Make sense? Okay. Cool, Aries. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, with that said, let me... Oh, great. Um, sorry, my friend... My friend is texting me about um, dinner tonight. She's saying that there's a storm coming, so maybe we should do something a different night. Yeah. That, oh, man. Okay, hold on a second. Pause, please. Sorry, Aries. Okay, here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of August 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Aries, five shuffles. Let's see what we got for you. One. Three, 
four. <laughs> Sorry, this is taking a while. <laughs> five. Ah, let's try that again. Five. All right, Aries. Let's see what we've got for you here. Overall energy, ooh, we've got the Queen of Pentacles here. Um, yeah, yeah, somebody learned their worth and was like, I'm done with this toxic bullshit. I ain't doing that shit again, no. All the way by, all right. <laughs> uh, yes, damn, underneath that is the Eight of Wands. So because you've chosen to stand in your power, stand in your truth, and honor what it is you know you really truly deserve. Now things are just like flowing at you like crazy. Like you, it's almost like you can't stop it. Why would you want to? Underneath the Eight of Wands is, in fact, the world. And underneath the world, ooh, you better stop it. The King of Cups. So yeah, <clears throat> as I'm sitting here reading, channeling this, I'm hearing Spirit saying, this is an individual that is coming towards you, fast approaching. Now, this also could be you, Aries. Don't get me wrong. This could be you just um, sitting firmly in your emotional maturity, in your emotional... Ooh. <laughs> there we go. In your emotional responsibility. That's a good thing. But mostly, I'm going to be honest with you guys, mostly the, one, the thing that Spirit is saying here is you have got... You have... You have got a divine masculine that is waiting to enter your experience. You've got to let him in, though. Uh, who was I talking to? Who, who's reading? It was just today. I don't remember who it was. It was either, it was one of the three. It was either um, Aquarius, Pisces. It was Pisces. It was Pisces. Um, and we were talking about the Queen of Pentacles and how she can be kind of rigid sometimes. I mean, she's not... She's not so cold because she's, she's very compassionate. She's very loving. She's very giving. She's very motherly. But when it comes to allowing a counterpart to get really close to her romantically, even physically, she's a little hesitant to that. She, she, she's like, mm, I don't know about this, buddy. Like, what are your intentions here? I'm going to have to feel you out a little bit more than, you know, she's like that. She's not rushed. She's not quick to rush into any sort of relationship. And she's definitely not that quick to have sex either. Like she can wait. I'm good. I can wait, says the queen of pentacles, right? And then you have this counterpart here in the king of cups. Who is patiently, patiently waiting. Hold on. There we go. Who is patiently waiting. And you see how the waters are kind of choppy around him. His emotions are probably like super high. He probably feels a whole hell of a lot for this queen of pentacles, but he's going to respect her because he's emotionally mature too, right? So he's going to, he's going to wait until she lets her doors down and then he's probably going to flood her with all this love and affection, but that's cool. And I just heard worth waiting for. And that did come out in your love reading, by the way, which was great, Aries. Your love reading is great. Okay. So if you're not on Patreon, go ahead and follow me on Patreon. You get to see that, right? $7 a month. Hey. Okay. <laughs> first set of surrounding energies for you, Aries, in the first half of your reading. This damn page of swords keeps coming up. But yeah, he's watching you. Divine timing is at play here. And you actually, maybe you're watching someone too, Aries. I'm hearing spirits say we've got a counterpart situation. All right. Page of Swords is coupled with, oh, the Five of Pentacles. Okay. So there is a, something is holding somebody back right now. And it could be that someone is like watching from the extreme sidelines because they don't feel good enough. They don't feel prepared or maybe they don't feel ready. They don't feel wealthy enough. They don't feel prosperous enough. They don't have enough self-esteem. 
they don't maybe don't feel like they're worthy of approaching you. Or maybe this is you. Maybe you don't feel worthy of approaching them. I want to tell you that's an illusion. But also part of me is kind of like, is it really though, Eric? Like, who is this person that's watching you like this? Because I, honestly, Aries, for some of you, I want to say be careful. Be careful of someone that you know has feelings for you and you have feelings for them and you show them all like the good signs of like, hey, I want to like talk. I want to let's hang out, blah, blah, blah. And they're still kind of like, yeah, oh, yeah. It's like, don't waste your time with that. And I'm not, and, and I'm not trying to say they're a bad person. It's just, you know what you're worth at this point. So don't really, don't really try and fuck around with anybody like that. Don't try and force anybody to like buck up. If they're, if they're not, if they're not stepping up in their own way, then it's a waste of your time. And by in their own way, I, I mean, as an individual, they are reciprocating, they're responding, they're, you know what I mean? They're like that. I understand you could, if this is love here, you, you could have a situation that's very new. And so you've got to allow things to build over time. Okay. But there are still, there's a cert, still a certain level of like give and take or like res, receptivity and responsivity, if that's a word, that, 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 that is required for the situation to continue building. I don't know what this is here, man. This page of swords with the five of pentacles. Maybe this is you, Aries. Maybe there's still a little part of you that's feeling inadequate or maybe it's this other person too. And if it is, uh, I don't feel like it's gonna win out. I don't think it's gonna last very much longer. That may be something you're trying to overcome right now. Okay, all right, okay, that makes sense. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Aries, in the first half of your reading. Ah, and there's the offer, Ace of Pentacles. A good tangible offer, a, a seed that can be planted. Ace of Pentacles is coupled with the Page of Wands. Communication, passionate communication here. This is starting something new. Okay, so I really do feel like someone at some at this point right now, someone is probably trying to build up the courage to approach you or you're trying to build up the, the courage to approach someone else. Hmm. But yeah, with the Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Wands here, this is definitely an offer coming through. One that's very passionate. <clears throat> I feel like whoever would be making this offer right now is so fucking ex ex excited, like, like can't sit still. And if you, and, and when, because I really do feel like you'll be accepting this offer, but when you do accept this offer, man, this person is just going to be on cloud nine. <laughs> That's what I'm getting from this page of wands energy, okay? Your challenge. Uh, there's the knight of swords again. Anyone trying to approach you, anyone trying to, anyone trying to approach you with some bullshit. Oh, oh, and that's right. Okay, see that, this came up in your, and that's why I'm thinking of it this way. This came up in your, in your love reading. <clears throat> and I'm just going to give it, I'm going to, because it's the same message. Your challenge here, Aries, is to, is to drive away or fend off anybody that's coming at you saying they, they know what you need. They got everything you ever need. You'll never have to work again, blah, blah, blah. Like, no, 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 no. Anyone trying to like rush you into something? No. Keep that at bay. Knight of Swords is coupled with. Ha! The Lovers. Stay focused on what it is you truly want, Aries. Don't let come by, don't let anybody come in here trying to convince you that they got what you want when you know full well they don't. And they probably don't even have the means to do so, right? Because you sitting pretty, you right up here in your Queen of Pentacles. You got everything you need. You don't need anybody else to come in and save you. Fuck out of here with that shit. So your challenge, Aries, is to Stay chast, chaste, uh, yeah, yeah, actually. And wait for the divine right timing. Wait for the right one to come in. 
because uh, to be honest, to be honest, Aries, the right one is not going to be worried about taking time, letting things develop over time, letting the relationship develop over time. They don't care. They're good. Okay, you want to take this slow? Great, let's take this slow. Means I get to spend more time with you, I guess. Right? Yeah, actually, that sounds like a perfect idea. Oh, okay. But that person that's going to come up to you and be like, nah, look, we got to do this now. Like, I need you. I love you. I can't stand. I can't live without you. I got everything you need. Blah, blah, blah. Yo. That's when you don't even say another word. You pick up your shit and you just walk out the door. You don't even have to say bye. Just get out of there. Yeah. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Aries. Oh. Four of Pentacles. I don't like that. Four of Pentacles is coupled with, oh, the Ace of Cups. Stand by. Ah, okay. Because Spirit was saying to me, I was looking at this Four of Pentacles, the Spirit was saying to me, holding your own, holding your own. I'm like, what the, the fuck does this Four of Pentacles mean? They said, Eric, holding your own. I'm like, oh, so when you stand your ground and don't back down, and hold your own, the love offer is going to come to you from the right person at the right moment. You've got to be firm. You've got to be strong. You've got to be, you know, don't back down. Don't let anybody come in and try and convince you you're not doing the right thing or you're going in the wrong direction. No, they don't know. The fuck do they know? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm going to leave it there, Aries. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, I'm going to move on to Spirit Monthly Messages 2, Part 2, which is over on Patreon. If you do not, if you want to get on, get in on that, get in on that. Two tiers, actually. The $5 tier is just Spirit Monthly Messages Part 2. The $7 tier gives you everything. Spirit Messages, Spirit Monthly Messages Part 2, love messages, the, the love readings, monthly love readings, and everything else that I post on Patreon. Okay? So if you're not going to see you there, I still appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for being here. And I hope you have a great month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of September. Yeah. Cool. Take care. Bye. <laughs>